I'm always a little bit late to the game on the second channel is because uh, I'm always so focused on the first channel and the second channel is a little bit of an afterthought and stuff like that. And I need to shout the second channel out more if I'm being honest. However, the gentleman, uh, I believe he is, I think, I'm not sure, uh, that attacked Dave Chappelle, uh, their name is Isaiah Lee, and they've revealed why they tackled Dave Chappelle. Uh, the Los Angeles man accused of attacking Dave Chappelle said he was triggered by the comedian's jokes about the LGBTQ community and homelessness as he insisted he never wanted to harm the funny man. Well, if you don't want to harm someone, don't run up and shoulder tackle them to the fucking ground. Uh, in an exclusive Jailhouse interview, Isaiah Lee told the Post that Chappelle should be more sensitive when it comes to the jokes he cracked because if there's anything that makes jokes fucking excellent, it's rules. <laughs> <laughs> I identify as bisexual and I wanted him to know that what he said was triggering. So what? Literally, so what? Lee said that Saturday at the Twin Towers Correctional Facility in Los Angeles, uh, dressed in brown jail garb and sporting a sling in his broken right arm, I wanted him to know that next time he should consider first running his material by people it could affect. Run it by the council first. Run it by the censorship council and we shall decide if the public are allowed to hear this. We shall decide. The council would decide if you can speak. Lee said he expected to have a good time at the May 3rd Netflix as a joke show, but he grew angry and frustrated as Chappelle joked about his prior controversies with the LGBTQ community as well as homelessness. So fucking what, mate? You went to a comedy show. You went to a comedy show that was featuring Dave Chappelle. I'm also a single dad and my son is five, said Lee, who, well, well, then you shouldn't be fucking doing bullshit like that on stage, should you? I'm a single dad, my son's five, two seconds till I get myself thrown in jail. You're a fucking idiot then, you're a clown. Why would you do that? Who at one point was homeless himself. It's a struggle and I wanted Dave Chappelle to know it's not a joke. He said his breaking point came when another comedian in the show's lineup made a crude joke about paedophilia, which Lee said dredged up memories of his own molestation as a teen. The stunning takedown at the Hollywood Bowl was caught on camera, showing Lee charging at Chappelle on stage, knocking him over and fleeing before security grabs him. That was a trans man, Chappelle, uh, Chappelle who was not injured, the joke to the crowd right after the attack. Lee admitted that he was carrying a replica handgun with a retractable knife inside on the night of the alleged attack, but claimed he didn't have the weapon out when he charged the stage. <clears throat> ah, there's, a, there's him posing. Oh, so baller. Isn't he cool? The wannabe rapper who goes by No Name Trapper and uh, once put out a song about the Emmy winning comic said he always carries the weapon for protection because he is also a minor celebrity. I was going to say, considering how much rappers are getting bloody murdered nowadays, I mean, geez, oh. I mean, remember remember when, tu when Tupac happened and it was all that was in the fucking news for, like, bloody months and months? Now when it happens, I mean, you'll get about two, three days out of it, man. I mean, that's just Tuesday nowadays. Uh, the young dad who was roughed up in the incident... <laughs> That's, that's putting it a little bit mildly. Is facing four misdemeanor counts, including battery, and possessing a deadly weapon with intent to assault. They spat on me and, uh, and twisted me as if on purpose, he says, of the security guards who left him with a broken arm and two black eyes. Lee told the Post that he was molested at age 17 while under the care of the Department of Children and Family Services in Los Angeles. He also said he was in the process of trying to secure a place to live before he was nabbed in the Hollywood Bowl debacle. Asked about, well, then he shouldn't have done stuff like that. I mean, Jesus, if your life's already on the rocks a little bit, then you maybe shouldn't do something like that that's going to land you in jail. Asked about reports that he suffers from mental health issues, Lee said they were wrong and inaccurate. His lawyer, however, has said that he is receiving mental health services. The viral incident has also led to more criminal charges against Lee. He was charged on Thursday with stabbing his roommate last year. The victim in that case identified Lee as his alleged attacker when the Chappelle incident went viral, prosecutors said. It was pretty much done, Lee says, about his criminal case in, involving Chappelle. Uh, but it went from me probably doing only, only doing six months in jail to having to do community service and living in a transitional home to possibly 15 or more years in jail, he added, shaking his head. My son will be big by the time I get out. Then don't do shit like that. Don't do, don't do shit like that. Like, that's, that's easy. You just don't have to, especially over something as stupid as that. Now, I, I don't know what happened with the whole argument with the roommate, but, like, that shit with Chappelle, that was stupid. I mean, also, if you're on the run for a previous crime, maybe best not to do something where... I mean, see see if I'm sitting watching Ricky Gervais and I'm in the front row, 
And I'm and I know that if I run up on stage and I charge him right now, my face is going to be in the front of every newspaper all over the country, right? Maybe if you're on a run on the run from a crime, probably best not to do that. Still, he said he doesn't regret what happened because he saw it as an opportunity to speak out about homelessness. Well, you won't need to worry about that for 10 to 15. Uh, LGBTQ rights and child sex abuse, topics that often serve as fodder for comedians. Uh, should, uh, by the way, do you know what's going to happen is you're going to end up getting a hefty sentence and in two weeks, everyone will forget who you are and your message. That's all it achieved. Like, that achieved nothing. What The main thing that this did achieve is your little five-year-old boy now doesn't have a dad. Now doesn't have a dad. And if you're a single parent, then that kind of means that you've got him. Nobody else has. The mother's not around, I guess. So well done. He's going to be put in the system. Bravo. Bravo. I'm not sure what your five-year-old kid did to deserve that, but you are, in fact, a piece of shit for putting them in that position. Uh, Chappelle drew heat last year over his Netflix special The Closer, in which he jokes about transgender women and defends controversial comments from author J.K. Rowling and rapper DaBaby about the gay and trans communities. In the special, the outspoken comic cracks that he's joining Rowling in Team Turf, the acronym for Trans Exclusionary Radical Feminist, while slamming critics of the baby. A lot of the LGBTQ community doesn't know the baby's history. He's a wild guy. He once shot a N word uh, and killed him in Walmart. Oh, this is true. Google it. Nothing bad happened to his career, Chappelle says. And by the way, it turns out that that, yeah, that actually, the baby did actually <laughs> kill someone in Walmart and didn't go to jail. Uh, he then quips, uh, do you see where I'm going with this? In our country, you, sh you can shoot and kill a person of colour. Uh, <laughs> but you better not hurt a gay person's feelings. After the alleged attack, uh, Lee said Chappelle asked him backstage in the Hollywood Bowl why he did it. I told him my mother and grandmother, who fought for his civil rights to be able to speak, would be upset at the things he said, Lee recalled. That's not how speech rights work. So you support freedom of speech even if you don't like what people are saying. That's, that's how freedom of speech works, right? It's not a case of free speech for everyone unless they say something that I've, you know, personally find offensive. That's, that's, that's not how it works. But Chappelle angry, allegedly retorted, now your story will die with you, son. And like, yeah, like I said, he's going to go to jail for like 10 to 15 years and no one will remember who he is. He's had his little news cycle and his message about poverty and homelessness and all that. He didn't really make a message about any of that at all. All that happened was everybody went, look at that prick. And that was it. The guy's a fucking idiot. Uh, but he's wrong. Lee insisted to a post reporter, I'm sitting here talking to you about it. Yep, in this one single little article. Which I'm signal boosting. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, a Netflix spokesman declined to comment on the record and referred to the post of the company's earlier statement. We are deeply, uh, we care deeply about the safety of creators and we strongly defend the right of stand-up comedians to perform on stage without fear of violence. Something I absolutely agree with myself. Like I said many, many times, if there's a comedian on stage telling jokes that you don't like, go up, leave. Just get up and leave. Go to the ticket office and say, you know, not really my thing. I didn't think it was going to be as offensive. Can I get my money back, please? And, well, that's up to the venue, <laughs> right? But that's another thing you can do. Maybe they'll happily give you your money back. Maybe they'll tell you to fuck off. However, yeah, that is a... It's a shame. I I feel bad for his five-year-old child. That's what bothers me. That's the main thing that I'm bothered about, how that kid's not no going to have a dad. Although, even though his dad is a complete fucking fanny. But still, it's a shame for the kid.